The other thing that's out with, you know, I was saying it's problem. Sandra Bullock can't find a movie to, you know, show off her talents. So here's Demi Moore. Remember Demi Moore? He used to be called Gimme Moore because she was the person who got $20 million for doing things like G.I. Jane. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fine, fine. Well, she's back in this thing called Half Light, which is an unbelievably stupid, derivative, awful, nonsensical chiller that in America wasted no time going onto the DVD shelves and here will just trouble the cinemas only passingly before it turns up in your local blockbuster. Story is, Demi Moore is a best-selling novelist living in London. How do we know this? Well, one, we get a shot of the gherkin, which we always do, and two, we get a montage of of, uh, newspaper headlines saying, you know, very successful novelist, doing really well, living in London. Hmm, another hit, so that's fine. Yeah, beginning, there's a tragedy. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but if you've seen Don't Look Now, if you've seen the opening five minutes, it's that. It's that tragedy done badly. So she decides to go away. Where's she going to go to? She's going to go to Scotland. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but if you've seen The Wicker Man, it's that Scotland that she goes to. In fact, they film it in Wales, but it's meant to be Scotland. There's lots of, you know, villagers going, oh, hmm. And everyone, everyone in the pub is from the cast of American Werewolf in London. You know, she comes in, piano stops playing, everyone turns around, darts fall on the floor. Oh, no, we don't like strangers around here, although they don't say it in that accent, they do it in a Scottish accent, despite the fact they're in Wales. <laughs> I'm getting a number of people liking your impression, particularly your Keanu Reeves impression, and suggesting that I should allow you to do more. Thank you very much. Very good. Then she gets on a boat. She goes to a lighthouse, right? She goes to a lighthouse, because of course you'll go to a lighthouse because you're suffering, you're a novelist. And she meets this guy who's a little bit weird, a little bit strange, a little bit fey, a little bit no one's seen him on the mainland for quite some time. You're thinking, I know, I saw Sixth Sense, but there's a twist. It's not quite Sixth Sense. It's the other rubbish movie. It's Final Analysis. You know, the one with Kim Basinger and Richard Gere running up the lighthouse and falling off, and you think, I saw that. Hitchcock movie years ago and this is a lot worse it's nonsense and the only interest in it at all is literally sitting there going yep saw that saw that saw that thank you can I go home now